Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be building another website. Today we're going to be focused on nonprofit and how to add members and site search to the website. So let's get started. Uh, creating a new website from your My Sites dashboard on Wix.com. All right, and we're going to let this load up. And I'm going to take this moment to remind you to hit subscribe and drop a comment and let us know what you like about our videos or what you would like to see next in upcoming videos. All right. Now we have our website. It's asking which should we choose, if it's going to be a business, a online store, a portfolio, fitness. Uh, I'm going to choose other. Now it's asking you if you want ADI to create the website for you after creating some questions and or do it with a template. So I am going to answer it with a template and that way we can choose from all of the design options that it has, which are well, a, a lot. All right, now you can see we have business and services, stores, creative, and community. Now I want to do community, and I'm going to go down to nonprofit, which is below religion and above the online forum. All right, so now that we have our nonprofit, okay, so let's see what they have. They have environmental, uh, charity organization, community, coastal cleanup. That looks pretty cool. Let's take a look. Mm hmm all right pretty cool nice colors pretty cool simple design right nothing too complex all right kids charity all right eco thunder we have farm sanctuary community center all right charity landing page support wildfire relief fund all right uh, let's check out this one helping hands all right, pretty cool, pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and edit this template. And let's take a look and give it just a moment to load. And here we go. All right, now we have our template for our website, for our nonprofit website. So let's take a look at it a little bit more in depth. All right. Pretty simple here. Uh, let's see, we can't really see it because of the menu here. I'm going to move it over just a taste. And I want it to be in the center. There we go. And I like the name, but not really. Uh, helping Hands, I'm going to put it as our Helping Hands, right? Because if it's nonprofit, and especially if we're trying to really uh, let's say get people together to help. It's it's us. It's a it's a something that we're going to do together. So that's why I'm choosing this name, and I'm going to stretch this out and have it. There we go, and I'm going to make it more symmetrical. And you can see the purple lines really help us with that. And I'm going to bring it down. There we go. All right, pretty symmetrical. All right. Uh, now let's see. We can edit that text the same way, and I'm going to do an animation for this. All right, we've done that. Support wildfires. Now, where there is, here's the menu. Again, you can't really see too much of it because of our editing. So I'm going to move it over just for us. All right, again, another pretty simple menu. Uh, I want to change the menu a little bit. Uh, it looks too simple for me. And let's go to design. All right, we're going to design it now. Let's move this over so we can all see. All right, fantastic. So let's choose some kind of a template here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, well, we're going to go down seeing the different options. There we go. That looks pretty cool. All right, we'll just select that. We can go to custom design as well. I'm going to make the border. I want a black border. Okay, mm -hmm. and the width, I want pretty big, there we go, text, and you can see it has a shadow, and the text for this, the width of this, let's go to text, the color, we can change the color up to it, I'm going to change red, since it's about wildfires, we can use this for a fire, bold, italics, 
I'm gonna grab some attention here. All right, uh, so just design it a little bit, nothing too much. All right, nothing too crazy, nothing too bad. All right, so this is the slide, and let's take a look at it with preview and see a little bit more in detail. Support the wildfires, preparing for Hurricane Pablo, uh, help victims of a hurricane. All right, very good. So we're kind of seeing now about our organization, so they're about me. All right, get involved, a button that's going to take. Okay, now back to editor. Now this is all great, it's all super cool, but today we want to add members. Uh, members of this organization, right? So we want, to, we want to add members, and we want to add a search bar. So first, since we have a lot of room up here, uh, I want to add a search bar because maybe you want something a little bit uh, easier for people to find. They can just type in, okay, donations, what have they done, news, etc., whatever you're doing. Uh, so we're going to use that. Going to add, we're going to scroll down, and we are going to exactly go to contacts and forms, and embed, go down below embed. All right, and the content manager, not the blog, not the store, not the bookings, not the events, the members area. And this is where we're going to add members. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and find members, and we're going to add it to the site. Okay, it's loading up here. All right, now we added the members here. So now that we got our members up, we can see here it's my account. Here we can update info and last name, and we have this set up. All right, so it's my account. Let's see, uh, we can update the info. And this is the member's profile card. That's how we can actually add that. And you see the three little vertical dots as well. So we can come here as well. Now we can discard my account. Uh, let's see, and it has my email, the login, my name, and the email, and a phone number as well. And we can update the info and the page. So this is the members. All right. All right, so again, this is for us, but uh, this is going to be our page for you. Uh, but when we go to the site menu, menu, the site menu here, you have member pages, my account, right? So this is what this is, my account. We have the profile, the settings as well, and the notifications, and that's what you're seeing, right? So you're going to be able to see this as you are the director of the account. Now, we want to add something a little bit different, right? All right, so we're going to exit, we're going to go to add, and we're going to come down back to members, and now you have a member card profile, right, or the members page, and that's where we are now, right? So the members page, and I'm going to double click, and here we go. All right, the members page, no, here we go. All right, so we can create members pretty easy. This is all the members, it's just me, right? So you can sign up for this as well. Now, when we go to settings, it's the members widget. Let it load, all right, and we can customize the look and settings of the members page. And this is, so anybody, when they log into this, it's, they're exactly going to see this information. So just to let you know. All right, so the main, uh, you can customize, you can have cards or a list. Right, we can make it both. You see, that's the cards, and this is the list. Let me show you the list. See that? All right, so I'm the admin, so it's a little bit different. You can use the pages, uh, settings. Let's go to settings. Now, okay, give me just a moment. All right, blog subscription. Receive emails about ups and updates. You can subscribe. Blog notifications. You can set up to notify me when members like my posts and comments. I'm going to go to settings. And we can customize that page. Alright. So, mm, it's running a little bit slow. So let's move on. All right. Now, uh, coming back to menus and pages, um, here we go. We can add a members page as well, blog pages, sign up and login. Member sign up default as well. We can go to settings right here. 
Now, general, everyone, who can be a member? Everyone or people are approved? I'm going to put people are approved, and which option shows first? New member people sign up or existing member login? So let's do new member, and I'm going to put in everyone. Social and community, enable Google login, enable Facebook. So you can actually choose how they can log in. And the policies, show a link to your site's terms of use, right? And this is the link where we're going to add and if, for this terms of use that you have created. Show a link to your site's privacy policy, and then again, that link option as well. Now, when we come here in the members login form, when we're clicking on this, the settings, this is it, right? Now, it's a default form. You can customize the form. Add a custom login form. Add a site. All right. And it's going to create that form for us, and we're going to edit it. So this is the login for it. Now, of course, just like any other login forms, we can add elements as well. Everything's in place. And let's see, any elements that are not being used in your widget can appear here. So, <laughs> right? All right. Now, we can actually have all of that come in to grab attention. And I'm going to exit out. Light box mode. And here we go. All right. So, now coming back to our menu pages, we can do notifications. And we can go to settings for notifications. And this brings you exactly here to the page info. All right, let it load. And permissions, hide, hide from member menu, we can. And hide from login bar menu, we can. All right, now this page is private, blah, blah, blah. All right, what's the page name? Notifications, right? Uh, we want it to be here, we want it to be actually be both. And we don't want to hide it from member menu. I'm going to permissions, manage site members. Now, when you go to manage site members, you're going to see everybody that's a member of your site. I'll let it load in. Okay. Now we have our menu here, our wonderful little dashboard. All right. Now, you can reward uh, members with badges. Now, this is me. Uh, this is the member that we added here. Now, of course, they, to add them, uh, we need to, they need to log in with an email, right? The same login page that they did. And you can manage badges. Uh, so, oh, hey, it's great. They donated. You can give them badges. Now, we don't have any here, but we can create one. Badge name, we can say All Star. Description, uh, donated 25 mm. okay let's say dollars all right background color we can choose this color here mm. click and add background color the text color all right we're going to select and we can add a picture. All right, we have the media from Wix. Now we can choose from this. We can say fire, right? Uh, since this is talking about disasters. Here we go. This is the vector art. That's pretty cool. A graded triangle or the wings. We can select. And it's going to be an all star. With this, as you can see, the badge, right? This is the badge here. And we can go to save. And now we have new badges, and you can assign a member this way. You haven't assigned any members, you can do badge it, assign members. I can choose myself, add, all right, and I'm an all-star, right? So this is how you can manage badges for members. All right, and let's see, we're going to go back to edit site. And this is your members page. It's nothing to it. It's very easy. So you can manage them once they load in here. You can manage this and change it and... Uh, delete them if you wanted to, give it, block them, or you can actually give them badges. Uh, and so for the nonprofit organization, you can kind of like give them some kind of reward, right? So this is super cool for them as well. All right, we're letting it load in. 
and it's just a brief moment. So with the members, it's really going to be really kind of fun for you, and you can do this again with any site. Uh, let's say if someone comes to the website, you can create special forms for this the same way too. So we had the login form. Uh, let's go to preview. So you can actually go to the login form just as you did before. You can create another form and put it right here in the front and say, hey, sign up for our newsletter uh, or let us know when you're coming in. And you'll see all of this. And when you see that, oh, hey, look, they've logged in or they made a comment, you can give them a discount, right, for your restaurant if that's what you're doing or etc. You understand, right? Now, this is the, log the members area here that we're talking about. That's the notifications. When you click on the notifications, And there you go. You see, this is the information profile, my account settings, notifications, uh, and this as well. All right, and so that you can go to profile, my account, notifications, and log out as well. All right, going back to the editor. Okay, you see how quick that was? That menu box is rather big. I want to make it a little smaller here. There we go. All right. Okay, and this is it. This is the login. Uh, and let's see, let's go to the site menus and pages, the site menu, and I'm going to go to home. It'll take us home here, to the home screen. There we go. Because we were on the menus pages, fantastic. All right, so now we have that done. Now, we were also wanting to add a site search. So let's go to menu. We'll click menu, and you'll see search, a site search. Mm -hmm. and add the site and it's going to add a site search bar and we can put it right here I think it's already here but we're going to leave it here anyways just to show you how to put it up uh, so you, these are always a great idea for any website so anytime you have a search bar in case like oh man where, I don't remember where to go you can always sign in right here yes there it is it's the one we put all right and I'm gonna put it just below or title. And of course we can highlight it and design it as well. And here we go, we can do something like this. You can see or customize the design, the fill in color capacity. Uh, let's see, something like that to match our color. We'll go to text, bold and italic, and make our font size a little bit bigger. All right, now search, and we can actually stretch this out too if we wanted, and just drag it and adjust it. So that's our search bar. Pretty easy, very simple, right? So no problems here. And we also have uh, our blog post that's already created on our nonprofit, and we have the members. So really encourage them to uh, get the, your comments and to like them, and so you can do the badges, and if they're making donations, and I'll show you guys how to make the form too for donations as well. Uh, so the contact the forms in a future video uh, as well. So we'll do another nonprofit organization website and we're exactly going to focus on creating another form uh, for donations as well. All right, guys. Well, I enjoy showing you. If you have any questions, please drop the comment and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.